My name is Dick Boak and I've had the great honor of working for one of the greatest companies in, in the United States or the world for that matter, uh, Martin Guitars, for 40, 41 plus years. I've had many different roles at Martin Guitars. I started as a draftsman, but really have had probably a, a dozen different roles, including the head of advertising, the organizer of the limited edition signature model guitar projects, and more recently, the museum and archives for Martin Guitar. I think my, my greatest contribution to Martin has been uh, the signature model projects and perhaps the authorship of the, the varied books that I've written about Martin Guitars. So uh, I had the great honor of working with the iconic artists of our time from Crosby, Stills and Nash, Eric Clapton, John Mayer, Tom Petty, uh, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, Joan Baez, on and on and on. Following on the Gene Autry guitar project to replicate the first D45, uh, I had the opportunity to propose a project to Eric Clapton, having to do with the guitars that he used on MTV Unplugged. One of my favorite guitarists is Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits, and for me to work with him or someone like Paul Simon, it's just a very, very special thing. I'm very honored to have Martin introduce the Deboke Martin guitar. I was uh, at lunch with Chris Martin and his cousin Robert Getzel and we were talking about artwork for our special printer which inkjets high resolution images directly onto the top of the guitar. So uh, Chris said, hey, we should do one with Dick Boke and, and I said, well, I actually finished one, finished a drawing several years ago. I wasn't sure if you'd be interested. And he said, well, print it out. So I printed it out and he said, that's perfect, let's do it. So they prototyped the guitar. I was pleased with the tone, that's the most important thing as far as I'm concerned. Artwork on the guitar is not important if the guitar doesn't sound good. The artwork includes the internal bracing pattern of the guitar, uh, so it's kind of like turning the guitar inside out and showing people what they never see about a Martin instrument. We chose the dreadnought size and shape because uh, the dreadnought is really the most important uh, instrument in Martin's lineup. What I noticed most dramatically about this guitar is it's very light and the lightness contributes to a very breathy, airy, uh, kind of crystalline or glassine type of tonality in the instrument. And I love that. The, the materials are fairly standard. Uh, this is uh, spruce on the top and Mahogany, genuine mahogany on the back and sides. Mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard and bridge. Kind of quintessential Martin materials, very much like a D18. Um, and the mahogany guitars are very prized for recording and for stage use because of their clarity. So um, I'm thrilled with these elements of the guitar. With respect to the artwork, the uh, pointillist illustrations came from different aspects of my drawings. It was suggested after we had everything kind of uh, figured out that I might put myself in one of the windows looking out, kind of like, where's Waldo? So this is a, an element of humor, and humor is a big part of my whole thing, so I love that. The interior label, which uh, numbers the instruments, is nice because it enabled me to say thank you to all of my friends in the music industry. This is a great honor for me, but more so I hope they're the paintbrushes for the musicians. I really want, would like to uh, emphasize my thank you to Chris Martin in particular for giving me the latitude and the freedom to uh, invent and reinvent my position at Martin Guitars. That's really what's made my 40 years uh, here at Martin Guitar very special.